Good morning, world. My hatch alarm has been lighting up for the last 30 minutes, and it's gonna make a beautiful sound at eight o'clock. Let's turn the lights on, though. Woo, I had red last night. Let's get some, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> Welcome back to an unfiltered, unedited day in my life. I literally just woke up. I put my camera on my nightstand so I'd remember to start the vlog. Oh my gosh, I need to drink some water. I'm like raw dog in this. Oh, got my retainer in. I actually put like gradual self tan lotion on right now. Last night, I think it did something. I'm not really sure, but. Thursday we have like a fun randomly busy day ahead um, Delaney's coming over tonight we're making dinner together like we used to do when we were roommates in college um, but yeah I'm gonna be doing another day in my life where I literally turn on the camera and then I turn it off and I don't edit a single thing and you guys love these videos so it's like let me take a break from the week of my life for a second and do this but I have to get up now. <laughs> I don't want to get up. But I actually slept really well. I can't lie. I went to bed at 11, which is like early for me. And I always get excited. The one thing that gets me out of bed in the morning is my coffee. Like I love making my coffee. Nightstand tour. We have the cup of tea that you guys are sitting on right now. I was drinking some sleepy time tea before bed. Air one. <laughs> Lavender essential oil. I always put a little under my nose before bed. And sometimes when I wake up, because you know they say when you wake up you're supposed to take like deep breaths. I forget to sometimes and sometimes smelling something good will help me. So I'll wake up and I'll go. <laughs> I'm kidding, I don't do it like that. But <laughs> anyways, I was waiting for my hatch alarm to go off because I love the sound. But I'm already up. So let's just get the day started. This shirt is so comfortable, it's such good quality. It's from Drake's concert. It says, I like what Drake likes. A follower and a listener of Gals on the Go heard me say that I didn't get merch when I went. So she got me some from the Charlotte show and sent me. So shout out Allie, it says, I like what Drake likes. It's like dark green and then on the back it says, it's all a blur. So thank you, Allie. Good morning to my apartment. I also put self tan on my face and it looks good. I'm gonna take out a retainer. Teeth are looking straighter and straighter every day. Welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> um, I've been back on using my Ember mug and I just keep it, it's just annoying she has to like charge it and stuff, but it's really nice because it keeps your coffee at your desired temperature. Like I, I guess I drink it kind of slow. And I really don't like when like half the coffee is cold and then you put it in the microwave and it heats it up kind of but this just keeps it hot mm, my coffee smells so good so we just get some coffee to start the day and I have this little routine I do where while it's not it's nothing crazy but it really has helped me while my coffee's brewing I go make my bed and open my blinds um, and I find it's the best time for me to make my bed because then when I get up for my coffee later I find myself like in a rush to get ready and then I don't want to make my bed. So let's go make our bed Open the blinds Hello world. Is it raining? No I really want to go on a long walk. That's been my new favorite little workout like a long long walk like a fast long walk I'm into it. Ta-da, I actually started, I used to do this and then I stopped for some reason. I used to just like lay my duvet cover over my bed and then I started tucking it in again and it looks so like sleek and put together. And now my coffee's ready and I really, really, really want it. The only thing is this cup, I can only fit like six ounces of coffee. Eight ounces it can fit, but it's like to the tippy tippy top. This is literally my favorite part of my morning. I sit here and I listen to music and I sip and then I also use my, um, I turned the page. 
my doing well daily. This is a planner I designed. You guys know the drill. But what's today's quote? Embrace who you are. I mean, simple as that. So I thought this side while I listen to jazz music. I'm not even making this up. It just is the best start to my day. And then I fill out the more nitty gritty, like what needs to get done today. But at first I just take a couple sips. Oh, I also need my ice roller. You guys are bouncing on moss balls right now and it's probably not my smartest move, no. No, it's not at all. Okay, hello world. Don't go under my shirt. Um, I randomly woke up with Blank Space by Taylor Swift stuck in my head. Wasn't listening to it yesterday. The day before, I went to a 1989 versus Reputation Soul Cycle class, actually. And I hadn't been to Soul Cycle since I walked out. <laughs> Earlier this summer, I, I talked about it in a vlog, but basically, I was. I, w I didn't even think I was hungover, but I had had a few drinks beforehand, and I had just gone to a big brunch with Ryan. And I got the times mixed up of what time Soul Cycle was, and it was a frat party anthems class, which I was so excited about. And then I got home from breakfast and was like in a food coma and realized that the Soul Cycle class was actually at 11 instead of 1 or whatever. So I like ran there. It was so hot. I was dehydrated. And uh, I was like feeling faint during the class. So I walked out. So then I haven't gone since because I've been doing, I've been traveling, I've been doing other workouts, but I think part of me was like scared. I don't know. I was like, ah, I don't want to go back. So I was like, you know what? There's a Taylor Swift themed class. I've never gone to a Taylor Swift themed class. So I went and I had a blast. So you know what? Sometimes you just gotta push yourself to do things. Um, and it was fun. So maybe that's why blank space is stuck in my head. Anyways, I'm gonna like do my mornings. This is a lot of talking for just waking up. Hey Ryan. How's it going? It's going fabulously. How are you? Good, good, good. Good. Did you flip your egg yet? Yeah. Dying early morning. Yeah, you texted me so early today. No, no, no. I was up at 6.15. I had a demo at 6 30. Oh, wow. Well, I was just calling because you texted me, how's your day looking? And I thought I'd call you instead. Yeah, it's a good time. It's a great time. It's, not, it's uh, sunny again today. That's good. That's good. I know. Hoping for sun this week. Yeah, we need sun this week. I think I'm gonna. Is it sun? It's supposed to. Uh, it's supposed to rain tomorrow morning. Uh, <laughs> I'm over the rain. I think everyone is, but I'll take yeah. advantage of today. I'm supposed to. I'm not supposed to. I am gonna make a little breakfast and then I'm gonna go for a long walk along the High Line and then I have some stuff back to back today. Nice. Mm-hmm. If you guys are new here, my boyfriend every morning on his private Snapchat flips an egg and then does the ice on his veins. <laughs> he used to post them on TikTok and do crazy ones or I'd post them on my Instagram story, but he just doesn't have time for that anymore. But um, this is this morning. Every single day, you guys, I'm not kidding. Ice on his veins. <laughs> every single morning. He's been doing this for since senior year of college. Like this is such a long time. Found this playlist on Spotify called Songs That Feel Like Fall. And I've just been putting this on shuffle in the morning. Oh, it's out of focus. Can't edit that out. So I think I'm gonna play this. I haven't even played music yet. I've just been, as I said earlier, raw dog in the morning. But I'm gonna shuffle this. I'm starting to get hungry. I'm gonna make some breakfast and then I wanna go for my long walk. Breakfast time. I'm trying these brioche English muffins. I don't really know. There's like a huge difference between brioche English muffins and regular, but I was intrigued. They got me for sure. Um, I don't feel very brioche but we're going to give it a go. I just have an English muffin and then one hard-boiled egg. That's my breakfast this morning. I can't believe it's like puffer vest weather. It's so crazy. All right, we're going to go for a quick walk. I'm realizing I like don't have as much time as I think, so we're just going to do a brisk walk. Guys, the new Rode lip tints, they sent them to me, which, first of all, a huge honor. I think my favorite is this one, which is Toast. It's like this light pink mauve color. Like, I don't know if you guys can even see. It's so pretty. It's like, so light. And I just, I really, when Rode first came out, I wasn't super impressed 
with the lip tip, the peptide lip. And then I retried them earlier this year and I don't know if they changed the formula or something. They're not as like sticky. They're very smooth gliding and I, I'm obsessed with them now. So that is that. Um, we're gonna go for a walk. This is my outfit. This is a puffer vest. Oh my gosh, I'm forgetting. I think it's from Naked, N-A-K-D. Long sleeve is from, uh, I think, Nudes. And then splits 59 leggings. And then I'm gonna put on some sneakers and my AirPod Maxes. And we're gonna rock out. I'm trying to think of my route. I really have been loving walking along the Chelsea High Line, especially during the weekdays because there's not many people. But I'm like, I don't know if I can get, I think I might just have to walk to like Washington Square Park or walk through the West Village or something a little closer. But I don't know. While I have you guys here and while I fill up my fanny pack, I wanted to remind you guys um, about two things. One, I always link everything I talk about down below, like everything, like a whole freaking list of, you know, even if I mentioned like a pan, it's linked down below. If I mention this vest, if it's not out anymore, I'll link a similar one down below. And then the other thing I wanted to mention was that this week we haven't, I didn't vlog, I just did this video instead because Brooke and I have been at work um, finishing like all the programming and planning for the Gals in the Go Live show. We've been like in a dark hole doing it, a deep hole doing it. And I'm like so obsessed with this new live show. If you've come to our live shows before, it is a completely different show. Like not one thing is the same. Um, and it's still so much fun. So pretty much everything is sold out except for um, Chicago Night 2, which is galsinthegopodcast.com. If you click live shows, one of the tabs, I'm like struggling over here. If you click one of the tabs, which is live shows, and click Chicago Night 2 or whatever, that'll take you to those tickets. And then we have a few tickets left for the New York show as well, which is our biggest show we've literally ever done. Saturday, December 16th. Make a weekend out of it with your friends, family, with your mom, with your dad, with your aunt, and come to the city, experience all the holiday stuff, and then your Saturday night plans are done. So. Um, it's a really fun show. It's not a live podcast recording. We are coming into the audience. It's very much so interaction. If you listen to Gals in the Go podcast, obviously it's fun because there's like things we talk about, but also if you just watch my vlogs or if you just watch Brooke vlogs, Brooke's vlogs, it's a really, it's a really fun night. Like people have brought their boyfriends, their moms who don't really know us and they told us that they have fun. So I'm going to roll with that because it makes me so happy to hear and sometimes I forget to talk about it here on my YouTube channel. I'll just talk about it on the podcast But it's gonna be so much fun and I'd love to hang out with you guys. So here's my final little walk fit puffer fest weather is the best um, All right, let's go You're a good girl and you know it Gosh, I love Drake um, 10 o'clock on the dot and that is when I wanted to be back by I was probably gone I think for 50 minutes. I wonder how many steps I got in. I ended up just kind of like getting lost in West, not actually, but like I just kind of walked whichever way I wanted. I don't wear like an aura ring or an Apple watch or anything, but I already, hit, no way. Oh, I was like, I already hit 10,000 steps now. I hit 4,000 something steps, 4,400 steps. By 10 a.m., we'll take it. I want to hit, I've been, Wanting to hit 10,000 steps a day, ideally 15,000, but that's like, I gotta walk a lot. Um, I might hit it today, but I'm in a shower. I got my favorite OPP protein shake from Juice Gen. Oh, it tastes like a chocolate milk shake. And when I was walking through the West Village, there were pumpkins on, on uh, like stoops, on doorsteps, and that's when you know, like, fall is here when the West Village is all decked out. Like, I can't wait for Halloween in the West Village. It's so wholesome and so cute. I walk around. Um, anywho, I have to shower. I'm going to the dry bar because I have a ton of credits because I'm a dry bar um, fl bar fly. I have the bar fly membership. Um, so I get like a certain amount of blowouts a month with the membership. And my friend Audrey Trellinger is doing an event with Fashion Pass. So I'm going to that. And then we have a podcast recording and stuff like that. So anyways, I need a shower. I actually like to wash my hair here. 
and then have dry bar just blow dry it because their products have recently been irritating my head like my scalp so and I have like leave-in conditioner in my hair and stuff so I just need to like do a big old clean and then it makes going to the dry bar even quicker so I'm gonna try and shower and do my makeup first then go to the dry bar so that when I come back I just need to change and go to this event but I don't really know we're gonna see <laughs> welcome to the glam room shower felt unreal I just put on some rose hip oil to use my pink balls they're literally called pink balls from skating confidential i've been trying to be better about doing this like i i was so good about ice rolling my face in the morning and then i just got lazy honestly and stopped and i really do notice a difference if i do that mixed with like before i put on my makeup or before i head out for the day just using these or gua sha whatever tickles your fancy um i feel like it just kind of snatches you a little bit like it's actually crazy but i have to be better about like bringing it down um anyways my hair is like you know gonna do my makeup i actually do have time to do my makeup so that when i get back from my blowout i just have to like steam my outfit and go so audrey trollinger one of my good friends here in the city she's hosting a, a lunch at dante in the west village which i've been to in it for an event but i've never eaten there and i've always wanted to um and it's with Fashion Pass, and Brooke and I have worked with Fashion Pass a lot. Um, so they like lent us some outfits. I, have to, I think I know which one I'm gonna wear. Um, we got to pick them out, but they sent a couple of my options, which was nice. Um, and then from there, Brooke and I are gonna go to our podcast studio that I love so much. I've had so much fun like recording there. And we're gonna record an episode all on like little, sorry, my hair is like hurting me because my towel is falling back and it's pulling at my hair. Um, all about like our little wins that we do every single day to like That changes our life like little things little routine Items that we do in our day Um, and we're also gonna recap my birthday party because we haven't done that yet Not that like the craziest thing happened, but We're just gonna talk about it. I have some random pointers. I wanted to talk about Um, so yeah, I'm like going to town on my face right now. Anyways, I'm gonna do my makeup and I'll check in with you guys after. I literally love being a girl. Like, this is just hot to me. Like, all the products just laid out, just finished doing my makeup. Like, this is hot. Here's my little outfit to walk to the dry bar. It's chilly outside, so I just put on this Skims dress. This um, denim overshirt. Oh my god, I forget the name of the brand. I'm the worst. Um, and then I'm just wearing some sandals. And then I obviously have soaking wet hair. And then I did my makeup and I'm really happy with how it came out. So we're gonna go, I just ask for the straight up with rounded ends. Uh, ooh, excuse me, got protein shake burps. <laughs> uh, oh, my fall perfume, cause you guys know I like to put on perfumes based off of like my mood, the, the season, whatever. Replica Autumn Vibes. It smells so good. So I'm gonna spray a frick ton. Mm. It just makes me think of last fall and the fall before that. Um, all right, kiddos, we're gonna go get my hair done. So I got home and my manager emailed me and was like, your video's approved, which is, um, doing content creation is a very exciting email to get because I'm very, very, very grateful to work with um, really cool brands on my videos, especially like I love doing stuff on my YouTube because I'm posting two videos a week and they're really fun and long. So when I get to um, have a sponsor as part of the video, I get very excited. Um, but anyways, with that, I like to post every Wednesday and Sunday and sometimes when I'm working with a brand, like they need a little bit more time to approve, whatever, which is totally understandable. Um, but it makes me so sad for you guys because you're like, where's the Wednesday video? Where's the Sunday video? I'm like, it's coming, I swear. Um, so it's very exciting when that happens, but now I'm like rushing to, I didn't have the thumbnail done, which is on me. So I'm just, this was my 25th birthday vlog. So I'm like trying to make the thumbnail really fast so I can make the video live so you guys can watch it. Okay, I just took all of my supplements and I actually just got this. I was influenced by, actually, so funny, Kelly, who's a makeup artist, Kat, who's a makeup artist, and then this girl named Jackie who did my hair for my birthday party and they were all talking about Symbiotica because especially during this time of year, I feel like it's important to get that vitamin C intake and they were telling me about Symbiotica because it has liposomal delivery, which apparently it's the fastest 
way to like get into your system because it's like this gelish um, consistency and I love these so it's like vitamin C I guess they have others too but I just got the vitamin C because I have all my other supplements that I take and all the other brands this this is so great for travel because you don't have to like put powder in water and then drink it this is the citrus vanilla flavor I'm gonna do it right now it's like kind of taking like a ginger shock so it's like whew, but we're gonna do it Woo. and then you kind of have to like Roll it up. I just, I feel like I'm a kid again. I think I got it out. Whew, there it is. Um, but I'm going to be traveling soon. And I'm definitely going to bring a couple of these. I just think that's so nice and portable. So I just did that. Whew, it is citrusy. I'm going to use my favorite steamer. I will have it linked down below. Katie Bilotti. Fully influenced me on this. Um, I don't know. It makes me excited to like steam, which is weird. I know, but you know, whatever gets you to do it. Because you guys always like to tell me if my clothes are wrinkly. Um, so we're just plugging that puppy in. I'm gonna wear this set from Fashion Pass to the lunch. It's from for Eleven Lemons. I'm just a sucker for a puffy sleeve top. And then it's actually a skirt. Well, it's a skirt. There's shorts underneath, and it's, like, super, like, there's, like, some layers there, except I need to get them on, like, ah, my steamer's starting, ah! Get this. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> she said I'm ready. Um, I just feel like, even though it's black, I kind of feel like it could use some steaming. Oh my gosh, I am struggling. This is the worst hanger to use. Shit. Alright, 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 alright. Here we go. Mainly just like the sleeves. Honestly, you can't really see the wrinkles on this type of shirt, but of course when I'm in a rush, I'm like, yeah, now I will steam. Now's the time I'm going to start steaming. But I got my video up, which makes me so happy. Because I know the weekly uploads are very important to you guys. They, I, I love them too. Okay, I think more so the skirt is what I need to steam. I think this is honestly... Oh! Oh no! <laughs> that was funny. Oh my gosh, I'm getting a facial now. I'm just going to lightly steam the skirt a little. I want to wear tights, kind of. Because it's cold out. Like This is for sure a summer outfit. And I kind of feel like I want to add a blazer. It would make the outfit cute, but also more so just for warmth. I'll probably take the blazer off when we get there. I'm excited. I always love seeing, like, you know, when I get invited to these influencer things. I think something like this, Audrey probably told Fashion Pass, like, you know, these. this is who I would like at the brunch because it's like she hosted it. But I always love to see, you know, who else is going, who I'm going to be sitting with, who I'm becoming buddies with today. I know Brooke and Katie are going, and I'm sure, like, Bridget, Lauren, and Kit are going. But I'm excited to see who's all there. All right, I'm going to get dressed. <laughs> I'm out of breath. Okay, here is the outfit on. I need to put some lotion on my legs. But super cute, Love and Lemons, rented on Fashion Pass. Wearing these earrings from Electric Picks. They're so cute. I think they're called the Bambi earrings. GOTG necklace, because we're recording the podcast after. Bracelets are Electric Picks. Ring is Lily Clasp. And then I've had so much drama with the shoes. I know I like should not be wearing open-toed. And these honestly aren't the best shoes with it. But I didn't realize I have some major blisters on the back of my feet. I did not even realize until I put on... I wanted to wear tall boots. But like they are literally... Like I just can't wear them. They're so painful. These shoes are Dolce Vita. They're quite comfortable. And then I'm just going to throw over top a black blazer. <sighs> I wish I had like just different shoes. But I don't. This is the best option. And then this is with the blazer, purely for warmth, honestly. Um, it's by the brand Lisa DeCicio, my friend Lisa D, NYC, that's her Instagram. And then I have my bag. I'm bringing this bigger bag so I can fit my vlog camera in it so I'm not vlogging on my phone. And yeah, so this will be my podcast and brunch outfit. My legs feel so out there right now. Like, I don't know. They're just out. And I feel like it kind of looks weird with the shoes. 
but maybe I'm just not used to wearing like little shoes, you know? Like I wear these shoes a lot, but I usually wear them with like pants. So like I literally just wore them for height purposes. Okay, I'm like liking it the more I look at it. So I need to go before I keep looking at it anymore, but I'm really happy with my hair, so that's a win. We're at Dante. I brought out the big old camera today. Bring out the big guns. We got the big guns. Everyone say hello. Hello, 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 the girlies. Yeah, we got the good old big camera. We have the woman of the hour, Miss Audrey. This beautiful menu. Oh, that's the drinks. Then we have the food. I love a nice name setting. Like, look at that city vibe. City vibe. I say vibe way too much, honestly. But here we are. Audrey just called this rock on the rock. It's rock on the rock. We got some broccoli on rock. Oh wait, it is on ice though. And some calamari for the sea truth lovers. <laughs> wait, I'm so excited. Is it really on ice? Oh, it is. Guys, I just had the best. I just ate corn on the cob and chicken. I'm so hey guys, happy I just right ate now. This corn. Hey guys, hey guys. Hey guys, I'm I feeling, corn. Got, I'm doing an unedited day in the life, so anything you guys say <laughs> will be in this video. Time to record. They put a little table for us this time. I like that a lot. It looks very chic, very nice. Mm-hmm. Home now, recording went well. I'm so hungry. I think um, the, the lunch was literally amazing, but I was kind of still full from my protein shake that I didn't eat a ton of lunch, so now I'm like so hungry, but the whole way home I've been dreaming of my cottage cheese. Like I love cottage cheese, specifically good culture cottage cheese. Oh my God, I look forward to it every single day as you guys know. And my makeup didn't like, last like I went to. Also guys, it's raining. It's been raining all week and then yesterday was a beautiful day and it started raining again and it's raining pretty hard. <sighs> it's so off brand that I like cottage cheese because I don't like other things in this genre. But not everybody fits in the bad bitch genre. Um, anyways, I have some work to do so I gotta go. <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, just got off two back-to-back -back calls for Gals in the Go. It's been a big Gals in the Go day. I'm like, Tired. I've expended a lot of energy, but uh, I just cozified. It's not a word. Cozied up my apartment. Got my candles. I also lit those candlesticks over there, and I'm like a little nervous. Like, should I? Is that a dumb thing? But it's just such a vibe. I should probably should move the candles over here. Anyways, Delaney's about to be here. We're gonna cook together. We used to be roommates in college, and we would cook together. So we're gonna cook one of the meals that we used to cook a lot. Um, I've said cook so many times. We're making steak, which I don't cook steak a lot because I get nervous for some reason. Rice and peppers with onions. Like, kind of like steak and peppers with rice. It's so good. I got an onion. And, uh, oh, <laughs> garlic on the run. Just prepping. I actually do have frozen rice from Trader Joe's, which has just been the biggest life hack because then you just heat it up. But I'm almost wondering, since Delaney's coming and stuff, if we should just like actually cook the rice, you know? Um, which is, so weird. welcome to my unorganized, okay, it's in there. I'm just not gonna show you guys all that. But I was laughing, I like walked into my closet room. Clearly I left in a tizzy this morning, my goodness. Like, I was clearly having a shoe issue. Okay guys, I just told Delaney that I'm filming an unedited day of my life and I was like, anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. So now you're reading me my Miranda right now. <laughs> oh, I was like, just so you know, I'm not editing it out. Oof, I'll be careful. Yeah, be careful, darling. So, um, we're just starting to cook and I showed her, I was like, I have these candlesticks. She was like, I've always wanted to be a candlestick girly. So, um, and I just put this little place setting on for Macy's that I got it. I think it's so cute and like fall. We have Frank Sinatra playing, but I paused him because, obviously, copyright. We have football on, waiting until Golden Batch is on. I'm excited for just some... It's it's fun to have something to look forward to to watch every week that's we live. We have the Bachelor Bachelorette together since college. Like, we haven't. It's been a minute. It used to be so, so fun. It was a Monday night ritual. It literally was so fun. After, um, what was it, Chapter, we'd go back mm -hmm. to Delaney's apartment in the house and watch. It was so fun. So, I have to get cooking and join my... Co cook, what is it called? Your so, colleague. My, co <laughs> my colleague. Uh, anyways, see you guys soon. I only have like six Delaney's freaking out over our Cutco knife. Mm -hmm. Cutco is so good. Like, shout out to the listener of Gals on the Go that brought Brooke and I custom GOTG Cutco knives. Delaney was like, Whoa, what is this? 
We are out here, Delaney. Chefing up. I'm chefing up. She's cutting. We're throwing the onions on the pan. I don't make steaks a lot. For some reason, steaks feel more daunting than chicken. So, actually, I feel like I need a lower... I don't really know. I didn't even ask if you wanted it medium or medium rare. Yeah, I couldn't even tell. So, we're doing that. We got the onions. The smell of onions cooking. So good. So, this is what's happening. We decided to add garlic last minute, which was such a great decision. I mean, that looks way better with butter. Delaney was like, let's add butter. I was like, oh yeah. The peppers and onions look divine. Rice is ricing. <laughs> I am so excited. Cleaning you guys off. We're gonna sit at our candlelit dinner, and then we're recording Bachelor. It actually already started, but this way we can fast forward through some uh, commercials. I mean, that's hot. One thing about Delaney, she knows how to do the vibes too, so she like gets it. She came over here and put the wine and all that. Obsessed. The girls who get it, get it. Here's Gwenny. Cheers, buddy. If you guys didn't know, if you're new here, I call her Gwyneth and I'm Becky. If you're new here, but I feel like if you know, you know. Guys, the vibes are happening. His name's Gary? Oh, Let's begin. Delaney just left. Guys, I'm obsessed with Golden Bachelor. It was so entertaining. And we were saying, like, I feel like everyone on the show, like, like, I think they're really there to find love. Or, like, maybe, you know, they get a chance to be on TV. But I don't think these women are like, oh, my gosh, I'm going to get a ton of Instagram followers from being on Bachelor. Like, I don't think that's their goal. And he cried so many times. I am not sponsored to say this. You guys should watch Golden Bachelor on Thursday nights. It is so endearing. Watch the first episode first. I think it's, like on Hulu like the next morning. So if you don't have live TV, you could just wait to the next day. It's so endearing and it's so sweet. The man's 72, his name's Gary. He's very handsome. And the women are just, it's very inspiring. Like they're all so comfortable in their own skin. They're happy, they all compliment each other. Like it's just such a different vibe. Like I'm sure things are gonna still get catty and like that's part of the reason you watch Bachelor. But it was really awesome. Delaney and I were both like, all right, we're gonna watch this every Thursday together now. So. That was exciting. I just like had this feeling it was gonna be good. Um, and it was, it, del it truly delivered. I'm like so tired and it's not even, or I think it's just 10 p.m. now. Um, but by the time I get in bed, let's be real, like it's gonna be later. Um, so yeah, wow. There is nothing like preparing your bedside water jug. I am so thirsty all of a sudden and I just like need to guzzle down some water. I take magnesium before bed and also my birth control. So I just find that when I take magnesium, it's my phone, my camera's so dark, that when I take magnesium before bed, I wake up feeling very relaxed. It also helps you sleep a little bit, but I just, I more so find that I wake up very relaxed and not anxious. Oh my gosh, I was so thirsty. The water is so good. Mmm. Mmm. Ah. Oh. So good. Now for the birth control. <laughs> and for my next trick. Mmm. <sighs> my bed looks so inviting right now. The bed I made last night. I need to close the curtains. Let's get it all nice and cozy. I can't believe tomorrow's Friday. We did it, y'all. <laughs> Got these blackout curtains. They really do the trick. Also, update: I actually did buy a skinny little plant to put there, just to bring some life back. I also, I think I told you guys, I switched out my um, pompous grass for this olive leaf situation, and I like the greenery a lot. Burned one candle a little bit longer, so they're different lengths now. I think it looks a little better, a little more natural. <sighs> Ooh, that's a big one. Turn the light off here. A. I was embarrassed for Delaney to see this room because of how messy it was that I literally closed the door. And usually I have a second wind, so I thought I'd have the energy to clean it tonight and listen to a podcast. But honestly, I'm so tired that I feel like I should just lean in and go to sleep now. 
So we're doing the good old closing shift. Got to put my water where she belongs. Right on the nightstand so I can chug a lug. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I thoroughly enjoyed making it. Um, let me know if you guys want more of these. I feel like I do these like every two months. But if you guys want them like once a month or more, let me know. I've done unfiltered morning routines, unfiltered night routines, unfiltered days in my life. An unfiltered week in my life would just be too long because I talk so much. And my week in my life is already an hour long, 45 minutes. So imagine if there was no edits. Just wouldn't be a thing. But I enjoyed hanging out with you guys on a little bit more of a personal level today. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you guys are new here and you want to be alerted every time I post a new video um, and just thank you guys for always supporting me it's just the fact that I've been doing this since 2010 and you guys are still here hanging out with me in 2023 I do not take that for granted I love you guys I love meeting you guys in person like I just love you guys so much and I can't wait to go back on the road with Brooke at the time of live shows and meet you guys in person hopefully but yeah, that's a wrap for this unfiltered, unedited day in my life. And I will see you guys very soon for my next video.